Hey, so another great breakfast <clears throat> is, uh, is oatmeal, and I'm going to show you how quickly we can make this oatmeal today. This is uh, coming courtesy of Amy Valponi, and this is a warm cinnamon pecan oatmeal. Now I'm using about half a cup of rolled oats, which means they've already been, you know, kind of dealt with and brought down to a much more um, <clears throat> simple form, which makes them a lot easier to cook and quicker to cook. So I've got my water boiling, and I'm going to throw the oats into the water and we will let them do their thing. Now, if this overflows, just let me know, okay? So sometimes that happens when I'm making oatmeal. This is, um, you wanna be looking for oats that are ideally gluten-free. A lot of, uh, sometimes oats can be contaminated with gluten based on the fact that they're processed in similar plants to other places that produce uh, wheat-based products. So if you're sensitive to gluten, even if you're not, you just wanna have a look at seeing if you can find a gluten-free oats. If you can't, don't worry about it, it's not the end of the world unless you're celiac. Um, so we've used rolled oats, which again, I said, as I said, were a lot easier to prepare. It'll take literally about three, four minutes. I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit more. Steel cut oatmeal is actually a little bit better because it is uh, less refined and it takes about 20 minutes to make that. So with the steel cut oats, which you can find at any grocery store, you'd put them into the water and they would take about 15 to 20 minutes and then you can do whatever you want with your other stuff at that point. So, um, in the meantime, I'm going to chop up some pecans. I've got about half a handful of pecans, or as some people call them, pecans. And once the oatmeal is ready, we're just gonna top off our oatmeal with these pecans. And then we're gonna add on some cinnamon which is amazing for controlling blood sugar, which is obviously very important, and some honey. So if you're starting your days with oatmeal, just be careful that you don't wanna to go too crazy in terms of the carbohydrate intake that you're taking in in the morning. So things like bagels and toast and muffins and all that kind of stuff, the typical kind of North American breakfast, are um, can be pretty dangerous in terms of energy levels because they do spike your insulin, your, your spike your blood sugar, leading to a crash very soon afterwards. That's why, you know, when we, when we have some of the breakfast ideas here, like the mini, mini paleo frittatas that are more protein and fat based, they tend to substan, they're a little more substantial and they don't spike your blood sugar. So they actually sustain you for longer than oatmeal would. So if you're making oatmeal like this recipe, we wanna do things that are gonna mitigate the blood sugar response, like adding in some good healthy proteins and fats found in the pecans adding in spices like cinnamon, which will help to lower the blood sugar response from something that is more carbohydrate based like oatmeal. And obviously when we're putting in sweeteners like honey or maple syrup, we don't wanna to go too crazy with those because they can be um, you know, a little bit intense in terms of what they can do to your blood sugar. So this is pretty much done, but what I've just noticed is that I think I've put in a little bit too much water. So. As you can see, the oatmeal is done, but there's a little bit too much water. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find the lid, I'm gonna drain some of that water out, and then we'll serve it up. So what I do is, because I rarely measure things, I'm gonna put the lid on top of this, and I'm just gonna leave a little bit of an opening, and I'm just gonna allow some of that extra water to drain out and see how that ends up. So that's a little bit better. So that's ready to go. Just gonna pour it into my bowl. Put that in there. We're gonna throw in, uh, we'll put in a little bit of honey first. So again, I'm talking about maybe a teaspoon, not too much. Again, if based on the amount of oatmeal I have in here, we don't need too much either. Put in some cinnamon, and the cinnamon will actually give it a really nice sweetness and nice flavor, so you don't need too much of the honey or maple syrup or whatever else you're using. And before I put in the pecans, I'll just give this a little stir. Kind of infuse all those flavors. And I mean, you can do all sorts of cool things with oatmeal. You can put in berries, you can put in chopped apple. One of the other ones I really like is chopped apple with cinnamon. And it actually looks like you've put in brown sugar, but you haven't because the cinnamon is a really nice kind of flavor and color enhancer without the necessary sugar impact. So that's done. Now we'll put in the pecans. You can use walnuts, you can use almonds, doesn't really matter. But Amy has given us 
her version of oatmeal, which is our lovely warm cinnamon pecan oatmeal. There we go. Give that a shot for breakfast and enjoy. <laughs>